We had a lot of rainfall here in Des Moines and central Iowa yesterday. Starting June on a good note. Take a look at this. Des Moines had just over one inch of rainfall, and so that started the month on a really positive fresh note and I really think we will have more chances for rain today, but I think it's going to be west of Des Moines that we have the higher chance. This morning we are starting off with scattered showers from Sac City down through Carroll and into Coon Rapids, a couple of downpours west of Audubon and a few light showers north of Guthrie Center, maybe a bit of drizzle in northern Greene County, north of Jefferson. There's a tiny bit of lightning here, but nothing severe and it's getting lighter. This activity is falling apart. Metro Des Moines is dry at 68. We've got a very bright sunrise, dew point 65, so there is plenty of humidity in the atmosphere. A lot of today will be dry in central Iowa, a mix of clouds and sun. Temperatures this afternoon will reach the mid 80s. We should get to 86 in Des Moines. It'll be a little bit hotter to the east with temperatures close to 90, but out west, temperatures will be in the mid 80s. And there will be more thunder showers this afternoon popping up, similar to yesterday, kind of like clockwork around 2, 3 o'clock. The radar starts to get active. I think most of this will favor areas west of I-35 today because the energy is shifting a little bit farther west, but there could still be a few downpours east of I-35. And then through the early to mid-evening hours, we may still have some, especially close to I-35 and west of here by 8 o'clock. So I'm not ruling out rain in Des Moines. I just simply think the overall coverage close to the city and the metro will be lower than what we had yesterday. We start the day dry tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon, a couple of cells pop up primarily in western and northwestern Iowa. Then we are dry overnight tomorrow night into Sunday morning. We start the day dry on Sunday and then by Sunday afternoon, a few more pop ups develop. When it comes to the rainfall in the next three days, notice how it really favors that western half of Iowa. That's good because that part needs it maybe more than any other area. Our 10 day forecast is sponsored by Holt Plumbing and Heating. Notice I'll keep a 20% chance in tomorrow, Sunday and Monday just to be on the safe side. Temperatures close to 90 each of those days. A few more thunderstorms are possible on Tuesday and then I have growing confidence that a cold front will swing in around the middle of next week. That'll drop the temperature a bit and also bring a big relief from the humidity.